good luck. I'm nervous for you. I'm going to need it. I mean, pray ooh, for me. Yes. Everyone needs to pray for me. And if you're in New York City, come down to the Intrepid. I'd love to see you. Tar, you're chasing the story. Harry Connick Jr., huge career, tiny house. Yeah, he and he's also uh, nowadays one of our colleagues over at Fox 5. Our show airs on Fox 5 in New York, and so does his. Um, so I heard he was up to something very special. He's very special himself. In fact, an idol, an American idol, he was the judge on that show for a long time, the crooner Harry Connick Jr. He wasn't far from my hood. He was on the west side of Manhattan. I couldn't get up there sooner. Now, there on the deck of the USS Intrepid, I got to meet Harry himself. All right, all right. He's a good friend of ours, so you're killing it. We're Man. huge fans. Having so much fun. There's nothing better than meeting you except for seeing a tour of your tiny house. Well, let's go. Come on. Come on inside. Come on. Come on. Thanks so much. Give you a tour. All right. Uh, he was up to some antics for his new show, Harry. It's on Fox 5, just like our show. It's a daytime talk show where Harry puts himself in Harry situations. This time, he vowed to spend the night in this tiny house. Well, you know, I think about David Blaine and when he spent the night in the block of ice in Times Square. Right. This is taking it to a whole nother level. You're bigger than the tiny house. This is going to be tough. I mean, this is a fully stocked kitchen with a beautiful bed. Right. Water, you know, water views. So it's going to be rough. Yeah, I mean, they could have put you, like, in the middle of a city, they, you know? Yeah, I mean, it could have, yeah. but this is, uh, is going to be tough out here, but I can do it. Now, a prominent feature of his show and his life is his piano. So when I asked his PR team if there was one in the house, they said no. So I put on my best cowboy boots and dragged a keyboard up to Harry's new home. I actually brought you a keyboard. You did? It's outside. I don't want to mess with your production, so I didn't bring it in here. But I'll just play outside in honor of you. Yeah, you're right. You know? I like so when that. When you hear the noise, you'll know. I like it. The house itself is 25 feet by 8 feet. It is a permanent house created by the Tiny House Show team, but the temporary location was the deck of the Intrepid in Manhattan. I got a tour of the place. Uh, it also had a full bathroom and, frankly, lots of space. I wasn't that impressed, and I said that to Harry's face. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Oh, my goodness. Harry, i got to be honest with you. I'm a New Yorker. I've lived in the city for 10 years. Yeah. This is bigger than my apartment. I know, I know. I'm really <laughs> slumming it, right? Really? Harry did well. He stayed over in that tiny house for the night through Friday night into Saturday, and he made it out alive. He was a huge hit, so tune in tomorrow on Fox 5, and then Wednesday he'll go live to tell you about his tiny house experience. What a hero, what a cool guy. Big fan. He's kind of a big guy, though. How did he fit in there? Was it, yeah, he's uh, super Walker? tall. Yeah. He's super tall. He's a little bent over the whole time I was interviewing him, actually. It could have been because I'm shorter, but... So, I mean, as much as it's, you know, a nice, fun experiment, it's the reality for many New Yorkers. Yeah, absolutely. He's doing something that everybody in New York does on a daily basis. Thanks for going live with us. Thank you. Harry Connick Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Check a pose with me. See you later. Bye. All right.